Hey, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist and a registered sleep technologist. And uh, people see on their on their sleep report all the time the AHI and the RDI, and these numbers are used in the diagnosis of sleep apnea. And so you probably want to know how they're calculated, and what what exactly they mean. Uh, so the first thing is when we're running a sleep test <coughs> and we're going over the uh, we're generating the reports in the morning is you want to find out how much sleep that person had during the baseline. So when they're not using CPAP. Well, you figure it out when they have CPAP as well, but as far as the diagnosis segment. Um, so pretend like you had an all-night uh, baseline, so no CPAP was added and you slept for the full eight hours. We're going to make these nice big round numbers so it's easy to follow. So sleep is 480 minutes. Um, so you want to find out what that is in hours. So you're going to divide by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour, so that is eight hours. So during that eight hours, let's pretend like you had 80 apneas of whatever variety, you pick them, pick them, I don't care. Just say you had 80 obstructive apneas, though it doesn't matter um, even if you have hypopneas because it's an apnea hypopnea index. And let's just say, um, so apneas and hypopneas are uh, are 80. Um, so what you do is you take 80 and you divide it by 8. 8, so 10. And obviously you know that makes sense because if you have 10 per hour and you slept 8 hours, that should equal 80. So it all adds up. Um, so that is the A, H, I. Which is also ahi, which is a delicious fish. Um, so now, as far as an RDI is concerned, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's a little more uh, liberal. It takes into account uh, RIRAs as well, which are respiratory event, respiratory effort related arousals, which are very similar to hypopneas, just lack the desaturation. <clears throat> respiratory disturbance index. So you still have these apneas and the hypopneas, which are uh, 80, but now you have a bunch of these reras thrown in as well. You have 80 of those too. Crazy, huh? <laughs> so what you do is we're going to be adding these up because it's going to account for everything breathing related that woke you up. So anything that's a respiratory disturbance that woke you up. Um, so we have 160. We still have the eight hours of sleep. Um, and so we divide. Zero, zero times, so you have an RDI of 20. Point zero. And so basically what that means is that 20 times per hour you're going to be waking up from something. And so you can break that down. You know, every three minutes you're going to be waking up from something and you can kind of get a feel for, wow, that's probably really disrupting my sleep. Um, these are also the AHI, AHI and the RDI are often broken down in terms of REM versus non-REM, you'll notice that during REM, your AHI and RDI are probably higher than versus non-REM, non-REM being stage one, two, or three. And uh, it's just helpful in diagnosing it. Sometimes people find that they're REM specific, which just means that you have more uh, events while in REM, or you'll notice that while you're in the supine position, which is on your back, versus the non-supine position, which is on your side or on your stomach, you'll notice that while you're supine, your AHI, your RDI are also higher. Um, so they're just tools that we use to really isolate uh, how your apnea can be treated and whether during CPAP titration you need to be on your back or not, or if you can get away with positional therapy, which is a fancy way of saying sleep on your side, um, that kind of thing. So if you have any questions, which you, know, you probably do, I don't know if I presented this well, I probably have questions after I watch it. Um, you can go to my forum, freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. And I check that all the time. 
I do not check YouTube all the time, so if you leave your comments here other than, you know, that was lame or thanks a lot, I appreciate those. Um, but if you have, want to get to specifics, you can contact me on the forum. So thanks. Bye.